I'm addicted, okay? <laughs> Hello, everyone. <laughs> uh, nope, because I was playing my own game. I want to be on Beeb. Yes. Hope you're having a good day. I don't remember what was done last in this game because I keep playing it on my own time. Uh, it's 8am, which suggests I've already done things. Nothing that I need to be doing, though, because I need to water my plants. Urgh. Right, now that I've done my farm, um, uh, I've got a few moments to actually think for a second. Do, uh, yes. Nope, that's the storage box. This is... What happened to my berry juice? I had berry juice. Did I use it? Oh, damn it, I must have used it. Oh well, I've got some juice in the brew anyway. Ah, oh, this game. There's so much I can do. Right, I upgraded my items last time. Um, today, I'm making a beeline, even though I didn't, I wanted to do some more grinding and getting some more food. It is time. Since I've done that little thing last time because of the side quest, ba bam Straight into the mayor town. They are pretty for like a series of 2D JPEGs and flowers. So this is the Maya Town. This is the place where the cherry blossoms bloom all year round, right? Hello. Did you come far? We come from Lethe Village. My oh my, you came from that far away. Don't take this the wrong way, but you shouldn't hang around here too long. What's the problem? This place doesn't look dangerous. I am giving you double audio. Turn the music down a little. There we go. Well, of course, we tried to maintain peace here in the mayor. But then the heaven's egg turned up. I think Aesil mentioned that before. Oh, friends of Aesil, are you? If you want to stick around and see what's been going on for yourselves, then that's up to you. But the monsters have been swooping in from the heaven's egg. They'll be making off with a y any young girl they find in town. What kind of monsters would do that? Good question. Nobody's seen anything like them in these parts before. Aesil and the Argus Brigade have been scaring them off. But even then, they're at their wit's end. You just take care, alright? Must be connected to the sea's light. Agreed. It's highly probable this is a result of the abnormality before from before. We should look into this more. Well, this place is a maze. It would be helpful if we could find someone to show us around. You tell Ari about Aesil. Oh, that lady said something about him. I get the impression he's taking the reins in dealing with these monsters. Is it really that impressive, I wonder? Suppose we'll find out when we meet him. Let's see if we can find him. Okay. It's a good thing I've already technically done this. Give me that one. Thank you. That's the item shop here. See the things I can't afford. Oh, I actually got some Grilla. I forgot about that. Oh, it's so tempting. I do need some accessories as well, but... I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, do I buy... I'll just buy some cheap carob seeds. Ah. Sometimes you just have to not overthink it and just do. But other times you probably should think it through, you know. This is one of those times I should have thought it through. But I didn't. P. I am in the wrong place. Oh, I needed to ask someone down there first, didn't I? Well, I jumped the gun a bit. Okay. And I should put something in my belly so I can sprint around. What a waste of healing food. Juice is great healing. But 
what I really need is the stamina regen. Yum. Hello. Is that you, Tiela? It's almost time for your medicine. Oh, well if it isn't, Beeb. What brings you all the way from Lethe? Uh, I missed you. We came to see Heaven's Egg. What? Why would you want to do that? Why is that so surprising? Who's your friend? My name's Arya. Beep and I are investigating the Seas Light. The Seas Light, you say? That's right. There was even an event here too, am I right? Everywhere seems to be having trouble. Just like Brian is having trouble speaking, as always. Which is why we were hoping you would be able to take us to it. So that's what this is about. have been dealing with monsters flying into Nemea ever since Heaven's Egg appeared. They've been kidnapping any young woman they find out in the street. More than happy to serve as your guide, but you'll need to be careful. We heard all about it from an old lady earlier. Monsters that prey only on young girls sounds more like an urban legend than anything grounded in reality. Although I hear some are taking respite knowing that you're trying to solve this crisis. <laughs> I sort of skipped a lot because I just came straight here. That's just morbid coincidence. Turns out I'm better at dealing with flying monsters than others. Oh, is it that time already? Sorry, I need to deliver some medicine. What medicine? You're a nosy bastard, are you? Same stuff Crest made for you. One and the same. It's for another girl who lives here. Her name is Tiella. She's probably over by the orphanage. Pretty popular with the kids. She's pretty popular with the kids, you see. I've noticed sometimes when I've been doing this, I, I skip the first word when I'm reading out loud. I, I'm trying to address that and not do it. Do you mind if I show you around after delivering your medicine? Not at all. Not at all. Thank you so much. If we're all ready to go, then let's make our way to the orphanage. Okay. Hey bud. Hey bud. Hey bud. You good? I know what it is. Jeez. Whoop. Just because I know what it is doesn't mean I'm any good at navigating this horrible shaped town. Spot the event popping in there. Hello there! Your hair is way too long to be practical. Alright, that's it. It wouldn't let you beat me this time. Haha, <laughs> well, I ain't gonna let you win either, Tiella. Quit being mean to Tiella. I'll kick your butt if you make her cry. Don't worry, I think I've got this game figured out. There's no way I can lose now. Tiella! Hazel? I just bit the tip of my tongue again. Nah. Surround him! <laughs> Hold on just a minute here. You gotta let us finish, Mr. Hazel. Matches for all the beanses. We can't let you get in the way. Alright, alright. Just want to give Tiella her medicine. Here, take this. Take this! Thank you for bringing it over. No. Are you feeling poorly, Tiella? No, I'm fine. Seeing everybody's smiles always helps me make it always helps make me feel better. Mr. Asel, where are those people with you? There's a single brain cell in Red Fury. These are my friends from Lethe. Give them a little tour of Nomea. Hello, my name is Arya, and this is the Naughty Kid Gobbler. No, you're not. Stop it. <laughs> Isn't Lethe rather far from here? We'll have to give them a proper tour since they came all this way. Isn't that right, Asel? You're absolutely right. Let's pause our game here for today. We need to show our new friends around town if that's okay. Okay, see you later, Tiella. Bye bye, Mr. Asu. So, where should we take them first? Although the ob I thought the observation deck would be a good start. 
apparently they came all this way to investigate the sea slate. And that's a great idea. Nemea has an observation deck. Yeah. It's the tallest tower in the whole town. Gives you a really clear view of the sea sp spring sea slate. And the view is probably the prettiest I've ever seen. Sure. However, if I recall, it's down there. You can't go that way. It's blocked off. So I need to go this way. Gimme! I have no idea what that's all about, but I am keeping them. Cause they're mine. Right. Ah, uh, Tawa. Tawa, Tawa, Tawa. Excuse me. Well, this is impressive. I wonder how it was built. Actually, I think it's been around for as long as the mayor has. It serves as a beacon that spreads the power of the monolite through the whole town. And now with those... And now with all those monsters pouring out of Heaven's Egg, we also use it as a watchtower. We're ready to go up. You weren't lo you weren't wrong. You can see the seas like so clearly from up here. It's a great view, right? I'd say it's the best in the whole town. And this and the structure stuck to the seas light over there is the heaven's egg. Bigger than I thought. That's an understatement. If you consider the size of the sea's light, then a heaven's egg must be massive. And you see it just turned up after the event with the sea's light. That's right. There wasn't anything like it before. Do you think there's something mysterious about it? Like, it's calling to us. You get that feeling too, right? What kind of egg is it, do you think? Probably one of the monster's eggs, if you consider everything else that's happened. It's definitely something dangerous, whatever it is. Especially considering it just appeared out of nowhere. Do you think so? I don't get that impression it's dangerous at all. I don't get the impression that it's dangerous at all, but... That's you! Are you okay, Tiela? I'm fine. Wind's up here is just a little strong, so I've gotten kind of chilly. I'm going to head home. Sure. Her demeanor changed pretty quickly. It happens. She requires a lot of help at times. Take it you guys aren't family. You're right about that. We're not related by any blood at all. I got that feeling for some reason. You don't look remotely alike. Pretty obvious, isn't it? I found Tiela collapsed outside of town, so I took her in. She doesn't have... She doesn't seem to have any family. Then again, she doesn't remember anything before coming here. Her name is known close she has to her past. Amnesia must be suck. I love this. This is the best reaction. You should know why are you talking as if you had no experience with this. Anyway, since Taylor likes the view from up here, I used to bring her. Hoping it might jog her memory or something. Sorry for you. I decided to look after her until the memory until her memory returns and she knows where she is meant to go back to. So that's all. I need I was thinking you were a couple or something. No, it's no, no, not like that. Relax, I'm only teasing. The bell. Is it a party or something? It's obviously not. The opposite, it rings when the monsters have been spotted coming from Heaven's Egg. But Tiela. You know the monster guns first, I just have to hope Tiela's okay. Oh, don't come any closer. These are the creatures that keep stealing your girls? Expected something a little creepier, to honestly. They don't look particularly intelligent, do they? Just like the person trying to read that sentence. I'll deal with it. You need to you all need to get out of here. Where 
we're going to help you. Agreed. Swimming into my helpless lone girl is a big mistake. Yeah, it really doesn't like the mage. <laughs> Normally they just fly away. Mr. Ace will come quick. There are monsters at the orphanage. Wait, stay where you are. That's enough. Tiela? Please just leave. Don't harm our precious town any more than you already have. It left. Pump. I'm sorry, so all the excitement today has tired me out. That's fine. You have to be careful not to push yourself too hard. You're right. And thank you both enough for your help. And here I thought that I w it was meant to be me helping the two of you. Don't mention it. Thanks to you, I think we've got a good idea of what's happening at the seas like Beep, you know what we have to do, right? We're gonna haunt some monsters. Uh, yes, well, I was thinking we'd go to Heaven's Egg since it's oozing a uh, root of all evil kind of vibe. In that case, you'll have to let me come with you. I'm going to check it out once. I've gone to check it out once already, so I can show you how to get in. Beep meeting with Aesilobic and Titan powers. He acquired the Skylancer job class. It's it's a dragon. It's it's a dragon. Let's get to it then. It has many weaknesses and many strengths, but regardless of any of that, I still prefer it over the Assault Savant. Skylancer. Did I get another? No, I didn't. I need another one of these. <coughs> Jobby. Mm, no, I want to save up for that, don't I? Okay. Uh. I really don't care about you, but it does give me the stuff, so. So this one's is, is alright, but it's like by the time I go BAM You've been hit about twelve times and you're losing about five hundred health. It does almost guaranteed explode things in the face, but uh, it's just It's not it's not the class for me. I prefer my, my punchy things to be fast and flashy and all over the fucking shop. Good morning. Yes, yes, you do, you do, you do indeed. Um, what is this? What is this? Oh yes, the the, the inn. Let us go in the inn. Hello. Happen to be a tra you wouldn't happen to be a traveller, would you? Thank goodness. Please, I need your help. I'm actually having some trouble over the new menu for the bar. If you wouldn't mind, think you'd be willing to bring any food you think tastes good? Come on, meals made by travellers are certain taste appeal, don't you think? So I'm com I'm coming to you. Please help me out. I don't have any of these things I would like to help. But I can't. Yeah. I like your dress. See, they don't repeat the models too much, you know what I mean? That's that's one thing I can say for the game. They do have, like, semi-unique models. But case in point, this is just Laundry Lady from the first turn. That's just Old Lady from Fountain. Hey, monsters! Are you coming out or what? There's a beautiful maiden right here. Come and get me! Or are you scared? There it's there. Mine. They are treasure that sell for money, which I need. I don't know why I'm speaking like this. 
But I am. So handle it. Right. Can I do the... Yes, I can. Every time you go into a new area, basically you get quests. That's how this game works. Hello? Are you here? There you're there. <coughs> Annie! What have you done? Annie, are you okay? Are you okay? This isn't like you. I can't believe you broke the vase on purpose. You know better than that. Treat things with care. Sorry, I won't do it again. Don't say it like... Don't say it like that. Do you even mean it? Yeah, can I go now? Fine, but you won't get away with this a second time, Annie. If I catch you doing something like this again... I'm not done with you! My goodness, what's gotten into that child? Hello there. Oh, what a moment to walk in on. Is that unusual for her? Thank you for your concern. Annie is not usually the kind of child to act up like this. She's always been very well behaved. She's the last one here I would expect to do something like this. In fact, she's usually the one keeping the other kids in check. But she's been acting up more and more recently. <coughs> Maybe she's been influenced by someone. Maybe there could be someone outside the orphanage with a bad with bad intentions influencing influencing her to act this way. Oh my god. I dread to think though. This could have happened this couldn't have happened at a worse time. She knows she can come to us about anything. If only she'd talk to us. She might find it hard talking to you. I would hope not, but you might be right. It's not too much bother. Is there any chance you could try talking to her, please? I would be ever so grateful. Thank you all. I think Annie might just open up to you. I have a good feeling about it. Right, I need to actually get out of the building first. There we go. I don't like this town layout or the buildings either. Frankly, they're all over the shop. Hello there! Now it's your turn, Annie. Count to ten, okay? No cheating! I know, I know. And you'll be careful not to fall over, alright? I'll be fine, even if I do fall over. You'll look after me, won't you, big sis? What am I going to do with you, eh? Look! A stranger! Nah, nah, that's no way to talk. That's precisely the way you should talk to a visitor, but... Okay. Sorry about her. She's only little. So, um... Are you at the orphanage to meet someone? You got into trouble just now, didn't you? How did you know that? You tell her... You tell her that you saw her get... In, oh my god. You tell her that you saw her get in trouble with the teacher about a vase. Oh no, you saw that. You got in trouble. Did you do something bad, Annie? Y yes, I did. I'm not a good girl like you, Nana. I did something really bad. No way! It's true. I got told off by Miss Rezanoa for breaking a vase. She got really angry with me. So I must be a bad girl. Don't be bad like me, okay, Nana? That's not true. You're not a bad girl, Annie. Uh-oh. There you are. You have visitors waiting for you, Annie. Come back inside the orphanage at once. You're here now? Come on. Mr. Mr. Hollitz are waiting. Actually, this is a good chance. Annie? Watch this, Nana. I'll show you how bad your big sister is. Huh? Annie, get back here. Why today of all these? The Hollitzes are here. I'll go get her. You will? Are you sure? Thank you. Where did Annie go? She playing catch Connolly? I want to play. I know you're coming inside with me. Oh. Try asking around for Annie. Annie, are you okay, Annie? Uh, yeah, this is just go around and talk to markers. Hello. A girl from the or orphanage. What does she look like? 
You say that you're looking for Annie. Oh, I know who she is. I haven't seen her today, though. Sorry. I remember... I'd remember seeing her. She gets sent over to my shop all the time. If I see her, I'll send her back to the orphanage. Hopefully you'll find her first, though. Bridge. You looking for someone? You say you're looking for Annie. Oh, Annie! Yes, actually, now you mention it, I did see her running earlier. Looked like she was heading away from town. I didn't see where she went, though. She's such a good girl. What must have happened for her to run away from the orphanage like that? Just the other day I saw her picking up litter in the streets with her teacher. Didn't expect that from her. Maybe she's just going through a phase. Anyway, I hope you find her soon. I wish I could just jump off. Harp. Harp, harp, harp. Leave the last ones down. Hey. Oh, How is it? See, you're looking for Annie. You're looking for Granny? Me too, kid. She left me a long time ago. Oh, Annie from the orphanage. May have seen her. Little girl almost ran into me earlier. I asked her where she was going in such a hurry, and she said, out of town. That can only mean your step. Wonder why a little girl would want to go out there. Sounds like Annie has left Nemea and is on her way to New York Step. Try searching New York Step. Zoom. Hi. Just being polite, you know, you have to stop by and say hello. Uh, nope, that's a diggy spot. This one. These are the guys that resist frost. Can you guys start there? Okay, um. Bob all. Yeah, it's a, it's a low hit damage, but a high hit count sort of class. I like it anyway. Bum, 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 bum. Annie, are you okay, Annie? Finally, I made it out of the mail. That should do it. Something this bad definitely put them off me. There's no way it'll be Nana and not me. This way it'll be Nana and not me. You're that person from before. Don't tell me you came to take me back. Please, please let me go. Just for today. I will go back to the orphanage later, I promise. Pretty please with a cherry on top. You can talk to me. Why'd you run away? If I tell you, will you let me go? Sure, because I don't care. Pinky promise? Okay. Well, you know I had some visitors. They're the Hollises. They want to adopt me. That's good news, isn't it? It is. But that's why I don't want them, want them to adopt me. It's not me who should be getting adopted, it's Nana. I've been in the orphanage longer, so I'm used to not having parents. But Nana isn't. She's still too little to know what's going on, so I can wait, but I want Nana to grow up with her parents. To grow up with parents. That's why I'm causing trouble, so the Hall and Hollitzes will choose Nana instead. How does Nana feel about it? Well, she doesn't know. I kept my plan a secret from her. I told you, so will you let me go now? Why don't you talk to Nana, though? Talk to her? Maybe I should talk to her. It is entirely up to you. I think I should go back after all. I don't want people to think that Nana's a bad girl because of me. I'd hate to give the other kids from the orphanage a bad reputation as well. I'm going to go back. Apologise to everyone. I tell Nana and the Hollets is how I feel. There seems to, so in my other game, there seems to be a trigger for how to learn the bombs. It's actually Aria that teaches you how to do it.
But I don't know what the trigger is. She just randomly walks up to you in the morning one morning. In the morning one morning. That was weird to say. <sighs> Hello. Annie, you're back. I'm sorry, Miss Rezanoa. I shouldn't have run away like that and worried everyone. Don't worry. The main thing is you're back now, safe and sound. Miss Rezanoa? You? Could I talk to Mr. and Mr. Hollitz, please? There's something I need to tell them. And Nana too. Alright. The Hollitzes are still inside, so go ahead and tell them what you need to. Thank you. Mr. and Mrs. Hollitz, please forgive me for earlier. It was terribly rude of me. Don't worry about it, dear. I'm just glad you're a spirit child. That's right. I just worried for a moment, though. So I hear there's something you want to tell us, dear. Yes, it's about the adoption. Go on. I'm really grateful in you deciding to meet up with me. But I... I'm afraid I can't. Annie? Instead of me, please adopt Nana. Annie? Don't be silly, Annie. They can't do that. Please, Mr. Hollis. I don't want Nana to grow up thinking it is normal to have no parents. So I'm begging you, please. Oh, Annie. I know you feel Annie. I really do. Adoption is a complicated process. You can't just substitute one child for another. That's right. It'd be rather difficult to adopt a different child at this stage. Oh, But you, Nana? What would you like to do? Me? Would you like to leave the orphanage and come live with us, dear? No! Nana. It's funny because Nana's what I call my grandmother. If I, <laughs> if I leave, then I won't be with Big Sis anymore. Uh, -uh I want to stay with Annie. Don't say that, Nana. It'll be good for you. Don't you want us to stay together? Of course I do. But... Looks like adopting Annie might not be the best idea. I think you're right. I understand. Let's end the adoption process here. Instead, we're going to have to start a new process to ad adopt Annie and Nana together. Wait, did you say? I said I'll adopt both of you. Is that alright with you? That'd be amazing. Are you sure? It wouldn't be right to separate such close sisters. Plus, the house would be more lively with the two of you. Mr. Hollards. But if we're adopting both of you, we'll have to start all our preparations again from the beginning. We'll need some more time. Is that still going to be alright? Yes, of course. What? Does that mean we're not going to get separated? Yes! We're staying together now! Good thing you spoke up, Annie. I wouldn't have had the courage to speak to them without you. Thank you. We're going to be good girls for Mr. and Mrs. Hollitz, aren't we? Yeah. Sweet, delicious loot. I forgot I'll get to my assets for that. Damn. Um, what was I doing? What was I doing? Right, okay. Uh, so, one thing I do quite like about this is I now just have another party member. So no matter what dungeon I go to, I've got another party member for it. Store, 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 store. That's the money one. Store. But first, I need to make some money because I keep spending it all. <sighs> But you know what, folks? Like, genuinely, I've used all my energy for the day and I don't want to waste a healing food. So, I'm going to call this one here. I think it's been a fairly good one. Made my way to the May Town. Started the storyline. Showed you a boss. Pet the rabbit. But yeah, I think it's been good. And I've got all these lovely crops. Look at my farm. Look at it. 
still got a couple of spaces left, but I want to reserve these spaces for machines, because machines take up spaces and I can't put them anywhere other than on farmland, so... Uh, yeah. But that'll do it for this one, in any case. Next time we'll be back, I will... I'm actually going to do something pretty sneaky, I'm going to show you something pretty cool. Once you go to Nemea Town and recruit, you know, the Dragoon, because he's, he's a dragoon. He's he's a fucking dragoon. There's no there's no other way around it. <laughs> well, he's got quite high defence, actually. And you get me. I'm generic! <laughs> anyway, okay. That'll do it for this one, anyway. Cheers for watching. Take it easy.